boss ass bitch. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. If you are new here, my name is Patricia and welcome or welcome back to another video. I am very excited to try out this Victoria's Secret makeup look. Very glowy, very blushy, very your skin with butt better. So I'm excited. I love this kind of makeup anyway. I will show you the creator who inspired me to do this video. Um, she was the first person I saw do this trend and then I saw that it was a trend, but I really liked her video and I am going to do my take on this look. I got on my pink robe. I'm feeling very model-esque. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna start with this Vanessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin um, Serum Skin Tint. It's super light. Obviously it's a skin tint, like it's called a serum. So that just kind of tells you there um, that it's not like a high coverage or anything. It's, it's really very light. This is just gonna be to even out my skin tone a little bit, just a little bit. And then because we need the glow, I'm gonna put on some of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I haven't used this in a while, so let me shake it up good. And I'm just gonna put this on like my cheeks here. I have a mirror here, so I'll look there on the cheeks, a little bit on the forehead. Um, you know, down the nose a little bit where I, I kind of, I don't know why I put it there, but I, where I kind of just want some more extra glow. Okay, so I'm just going to use this big Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M439. It's like a foundation brush. It's very dense. I actually really like this brush and we're just going to blend it all in. I think the thing that I like most about this kind of makeup look, it's like light and fun and playful, very flirty. I guess that's Victoria's Secret, right? That seems like the vibe they would want to go for. I'm really excited to see how these overnight curls turn out. This is my first time doing them. Okay, so we're all blended out. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with this NYX Pro Fix Stick Concealer uh, Pen. And this is in the shade Walnut. I am gonna use this as my contour. I'm trying to look like my face is this like chiseled and snatched naturally. Like I don't need contour for that. Like I go to the gym, I eat one Tic Tac a day. That's the model snatching we're trying to give <laughs> without looking like we had to put it there. But you know, <laughs> it's just us. This walnut shade I feel like is not too heavy or intense. And I think the cream uh, contour will help look at help it look more natural, especially because I don't think I'm gonna go in with a powder contour and we're gonna do this on the base. So it'll also probably die down a little bit too once I put the other products on top. Let's try it. I am also using this for the first time. I've never used it, so. <laughs> put it on my forehead. Again, I'm putting it really high up because it's gonna blend down a bit. I'm gonna put it really high up on my cheek there and go inwards. Yeah, that's even. Obviously, we're gonna do a um, little there. I've seen people do this. I'm kind of nervous to do that, so I don't think I'm gonna do it. And then we're gonna go down our nose and snatch our nose. Ooh. No snatch, let's blend it out. Cause I don't know how um, quickly this dries down though. It's a cream and this is like a super creamy product. Like it's super soft. I'm just using like a fluffy brush that actually just like blended right away. This is nice. I like that a lot. Okay, wait a minute. I should have brought a slimmer brush to blend out my nose, but I'm being lazy and I don't feel like going and getting more brushes. So I'm just gonna squeeze this and make it skinny. And then I'm gonna blend out the nose contour. <laughs> Is our nose snatched? <sighs> I wanna be on top. So I haven't done my brows yet, but for some reason I'm tempted to take this and kind of do like my lids because we're, we're really not gonna do like eyeshadow like that. So what I'm doing is I'm putting some of this brown here as if I was putting bronzer on my eyelid. So 
but I'm just doing it like around in the crease. Just on the eyelid though. Um, I'm gonna feel like I'm really a makeup artist backstage <laughs> because I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte. And this one is in the shade Rustic. I love this. And I'm gonna use a little makeup palette. So it's just a little clear piece of plastic. It's not in the glass one. It looks like a little painter's palette. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on there. You really don't need a lot. Like this is how much I put on there because this thing spreads and it is intense. My little dense brush and pat it out there. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in really high up at first here. See, look at that already. I'm gonna go in really high up there and just blend that out. I'll go into the corner of my eye a little bit there as well. Like it dries into a mat in the sense that it's not moving, like it's there. But it doesn't dry into a mat in the sense that it like looks dry. Eating the runway, serving the runway, the runway. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. Let me look at my, let me look at some of this inspo. I think I am gonna do just like a tad bit more. Just like the little, the littlest bit more. And I'm gonna um, just move a little bit further in onto my cheeks. And some of that is gonna end up dying down too because I still have to do concealer. There, this is so pretty. I really like it already, it's very pretty. So at first I was gonna go in with more of a skin tone concealer. Um, and just kind of cover up some of my hyperpigmentation and like dark spots. But I actually like that you can still see some of that, but it's just more smoothed out. And I don't think I need to cover that because this is again, more like your skin, but better. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna jump over that and I am going to use like a, a highlighter shade so this is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. This is just a mini size of that. But this is in the shade Maple. And i am it's probably best that this is a mini because I am going to try to tread very lightly <laughs> and not to over conceal. So I'm gonna put a little bit. We're gonna start in this inner corner here. That's a little bit. I mean, some of you guys might be like, that's a lot, but it's a little bit for me. And then I'm gonna do a line there to kind of snatch me up. Snatch me up, just lift the eye. I'm probably gonna let it sit on the inner corner the longest. I'm gonna go down the middle of my nose. I am gonna go above my lip, on the chin. And then I'm gonna do, I see people do this on the corners of their mouth. Hopefully I did that right. Actually, I don't know if this was even more straight, but I definitely just did it like diagonal. So that may look crazy, but, or, or it'll either look crazy or it'll snatch me up. Even more, and I'll be super snatched. I'm gonna start on the bottom and we're gonna work our way up. I'm also just gonna spray my face real quick before I blend this out with the NYX Professional, this is Plump It Up something, Plump Finish. The electrolytes, some sort of setting spray. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this on my face. Oh, that came out very harshly. Okay. I don't love that. That came out very harshly. <laughs> mm -mm. That's okay. Let's start here on our chin. I'm gonna blend it in the direction that I, um, Put it on my face. Okay, I feel the snatch. And it's almost like I was concealing like underneath the contour, so it works just in the opposite direction. I don't think it did any damage, so that's good. <laughs> okay, so let's do uh, our under eyes now. I'm really just focusing my brush in this area um, and not moving it around too much and just keeping that highlight like right there. Then we're gonna go up. 
but I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna brush it up more than like patting it for, the, for going up. Do we see the vision? Okay, I'm looking glossy and my skin is looking wet. <laughs> okay, um, let's keep going. So I think I'm gonna take the same blush brush. I'm not gonna add any, there's nothing new on it. Um, I'm just gonna like pat over kind of the line and where I had went into my eye a little with the with the blush and then where I kind of had just put the concealer. So I'm just gonna dab on top just to smooth it out and make it even. Again, there's no new product. I didn't dip more, or add more onto the brush. Super glowy and glazed up. Look at the skin. Ah. Look at the skin, okay? Mm. I don't even want to powder it, but we have to powder it. That's what's next. Um, because that is, this is not going to last like this. I will look crazy. I'm going to use my concoction of a powder here. It's really not that sophisticated. It's just the um, Laura Mercier in medium deep mixed with the Fenty powder. And I don't recall the shade at this moment. Um, but it's more of like a highlighting shade. So it gives me this nice color. And I like the two textures because the Laura Mercier is more smoothing and not as matte to me and the Fenty one is matte so I need kind of a balance there. So I'm taking a little bit on this powder puff and again I'm just gonna focus this right here underneath my eye. Really? Okay, there we go and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that. I'm gonna go down the nose with it up here just a little bit lightly on the forehead perfect i'm gonna put the powder puff down because i will get carried away and i don't want to get carried away i still want to maintain our glow that we created so yeah okay so now we're at the part where we get to add the glow on top of the glow so i'm a little bit nervous about this part um, but i think i'm gonna use the rare beauty powder blush in the shade love so it's a really pretty powder blush as a topper and I think it goes well with that Danessa Myricks liquid matte in Rustic but it has like a shimmer and glow to it like this is very shimmery. Uh, I'm also going to use the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter in the color Ritz. I absolutely love this. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see it. It might not look like much of anything here but this bad boy is gorgeous. Let's start with Rare Beauty. Oh, I forgot my blush brush. Hold on. I want to use more of a small, tailored, tailored, tapered type uh, powder brush to kind of focus it. Um, so I'm gonna go with this. And we're just gonna first go on top. Ooh, do you, do you see how quickly it just did that? Oh my God. It's like, it's very like beautiful and shimmery. Oh my God. See, I can't even. It's beautiful, thankfully, but yeah, that's, there we go. I just needed that one dip and that gave me literally everything I needed there. Oh, so pretty, okay. Well, let's go on the other side with that then. <laughs> but the color is almost like wet. It's just super glowy and shimmery and it, it looks literally almost wet. So I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit on my nose. Like that's really just the residual from the brush. And that's that on my nose. And it's already giving me a highlight on my nose. Like color and a highlight. That's so pretty and I didn't have to add any more. Okay, I'm feeling like the look is pretty much almost complete and so pretty. Uh, but we have to give ourselves a little brow bone highlight in almost all of the inspiration photos that I have for this look, they have their inner corner highlighted, which I guess is like a staple because every photo of everyone has that. So we're gonna do an inner corner highlight, which I haven't done in a while. <laughs> Give a little brow bone highlight, which I also haven't done in forever. And to be honest, guys, I don't know what to do with my brows. I kind of saved them for last because I feel like if I do them, they're gonna come off a little bit too harsh. And I'm thinking my best bet is just to leave them as is. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I have pretty like thick, I would say prominent brows 
already. I'm just gonna wipe off any makeup that may have gotten on them. We're gonna go in with the ColourPop and I'm gonna use this little like eyeshadow brush and we're gonna do, I hate using this product with a brush. I thought it would help me kind of just focus it, but this product works just so much better with your finger, but you gotta be careful because it it's, It's intense, you know? So here we go. I hope you guys can see it because it's so pretty and it's giving me like this shimmer. And then I think I'm gonna use this and kind of blend it a little bit. Ooh, see, oh God, I put too much. See, I got overzealous and I put too much there. Hold on. Okay, let's see how I do my inner corner with my finger. I think I, I think I might need to get something else to do my inner corner because this, oh, rude. Glittery, as you can see. Oh, whew, it is, okay. Again, let's slow down. It's not as concentrated. So the glitter kind of spreads out, which I think is really pretty, but I think I need it to be a little bit more concentrated for the look. What I'm gonna do, because I did get a little carried away with that glitter, <laughs> is I'm gonna take this NYX I Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Power, and this is in the shade Brightening Peach, so it's a brightening uh, setting powder. Take, get our puff again, kind of rub, rub it in there, and then I'm gonna just go right here in the corner under my eye a little bit with this. So it's gonna help to clean it up a bit. Again, you can always go over things with your brush. No new product, no new product. Can't get carried away but just to make sure all those edges are blended and smooth and there's no harsh lines there. Got my handy dandy <laughs> Jackie Aina uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, which guys I'm sure expect to see coming with me if you watch any of my makeup videos. So anyway, um, we're gonna dip into this shade Trust Issues and that's gonna be like the perfect this little inner corner pop there. It's like a very white, bright. Oh, it's iridescent, I forgot. So it actually kind of changes. So I'm not gonna go too heavy because it looks white in the pan, but I'm putting it on and it actually looks green. That's so crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, I think it's pretty. It's giving me that inner glow that I was looking for. And the color actually changes a little bit. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so for our lip, it's definitely um, looking like we gotta do something more muted, something that looks like we pretty much have nothing on our lips, very like natural, pouty, pretty lips. So I'm gonna go in with this, the NYX Lingerie Push Up Long Lasting Lipstick Pen, and this is in the color, it's in a dark brown. Um, after Hours. I actually was looking for this again. Let's look at my I was looking for this and I don't know if this is something they still make anymore. Uh, I've had this for a while and I love using this as a liner because it's just thick and easy. Uh, and I wanted to get another one. I don't really see it. Uh, I don't know if it's something they still have. So I'm going with a really light hand around my lip line, like super light hand, but it's there. And then I'm gonna rub it out. So it's really just like a natural, darker lip line. I love that. Oh, I should do this more often. Okay. Okay. I'm and then we're gonna rub it out. And so these are the lips line. Super subtle and soft. I love that. And then I'm gonna take I'm gonna go back to our Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte in Rustic. And I'm gonna take like the tiny, like, I don't even know, I'm actually not even gonna to squeeze it at all. I'm just gonna wipe off on my finger like the residue from the end of the tube because I really don't want like a lot at all. So I just wiped it from the end there and I'm patting it on my lip. Like, give me color, but don't look like a color. Oh my God, I think I got it. It's very neutral and soft and pouty. 
We need lashes. I almost forgot. I'm like, some, like one thing is missing. One thing is missing. Okay, we're gonna get a lash out. But uh, before we do that, let's go into this Urban Decay All Nighter to set us. Cause you know those bright lights in your face as you're walking down the runway and you're in your high heels and there's like a lot of energy. It can get a little hot. We don't want our face to melt off, right? So we're just gonna finish it off with the All Nighter. <laughs> So I'm gonna use these little strip lashes that I have. I already took them off the packaging, um, but it's mainly just like super flare out on the ends, which is what we're looking for. Just a light little flip on the ends there of our eyes with the lashes. So that's what we're gonna do. Actually, first we're gonna put some mascara on. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I am just gonna throw on a little bit of this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This is in the shade color Berry. Should have done that because I like this one. Um, but I just wanna put a little balm on my lips, so nothing crazy. Very natural, very light, very nothing. <laughs> did we eat this look or did we eat this look? Did we eat this look or did we eat this look? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a moment to think about that, the answer to that question and comment it down below um, while I take out my hair real quick and then I'll come back. You guys, this is the complete look with my hair done. I love this look. It's so pretty. I feel like I'm ready to hit the runway. Eating the runway, the uh, It's just really pretty, fresh, light. Um, I feel like I'm really channeling a uh, Victoria's Secret runway model right now. I love the hair because it's like fun and light and kind of like messy, a little bedhead, you know? Um, <laughs> anyway, obviously I'm feeling it and I'm feeling myself and I feel really pretty. I feel really pretty and blushy and feminine. So if you're looking for some makeup to make you feel like really pretty and blushy and feminine and cute, try this, try it. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below, let me know, hopefully I can have an answer for you. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you love the look, like I love the look, if you wanna try it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you are new and you enjoy the content and you want more content from moi, please consider subscribing and joining our growing YouTube family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.